Hello, teacher Svetlana is here and today we are talking about Ed Rusha and his word art. Um, he still lives in California, um, but his war, uh, most famous paintings were produced in 20th century. Uh, he is one of the artists who belongs to pop art movement. Um, his art is pretty unique because it has words and phrases on top of the backgrounds. And the backgrounds he used could be beautiful scenery or just colors or silhouettes. Uh, while other artists were creating images, um, kind of inviting viewers to decide what the meaning is, Rusha was just adding words um, as kind of to explain the meaning of his art uh, or convey a message. Um, he said that sometimes uh, the, uh, he would hear the words from someone um, and write them down and um, use them later in his art or sometimes the word or a phrase would just come to him, um, to come to his mind and he would use it um, in his artwork. So these are some uh, more examples of his work. We will be working on the artwork that is inspired by his work and uh, for that we will actually talk a little bit about the fonts and the lettering. So let's move on. When you will be drawing um, fonts and letters on your art, um, you want to use guidelines to help you to uh, line up the letters perfectly. Uh, if we're talking about the uppercase letters, um, we can use baseline or cap height to uh, line up between those um, lines. If we're talking about lowercase letter, uh, the top line will be called um, X height. And also there are some letters that do not fit between those lines and have some um, either tops or bottoms sticking out but we still can use guidelines as ascender's line and descender line. Please use them when you um, join your um, letters. Also, you can um, think about adding some dimension or some shadows to your letters. For example, um, we can um, make the letters look three-dimensional three by just adding um, kind of perspective drawing to those uh, sides, or um, we can just uh, repeat the letters under um, this a little bit shifting on the side to make the letters look like they, they have in the shadow. What else you can think about uh, while creating the letters or the font for your artwork? For example, think about the connection between uh, of how the letters look like and what they spell. Uh, guess what? I'm spelling this, all these bold, um, thick letters. I'm spelling the um, word bold. Also, I can spell a uh, bold thin uh, using very thin letters and word funny uh, using kind of funny font. And now let's start the project. So I, uh, my idea was to create um, uh, some sort of scenery like a mountain range um, with some words. And I was thinking about our life today, uh, how everything is online, the school is online, the work is online, um, all activities are online. So I think the life online will be the nice message to put on the mountain range. And I tried different combinations um, different position of the font and letters, how I want it um, framed, and I actually ended up doing the one in the right lower corner when I have life on top of the mountains and online kind of covering um, the mountains. I was inspired by the photograph I saw where the mountain range uh, was showing in the um, sunset. So I decided to explore that color palette and do orange, um, orangey mountains. Um, and I tried different um, colors for the letters and I um, kind of end up using the white one, white letters on the orange background, but I also had an idea maybe change it to the blue. 
Uh, first, you will need to sketch the background um, for your art. Um, of course, I have a, ma a mountain range, so I am sketching the mountains. Now I need to figure out how my um, letters gonna look like and uh, how thick they are, how tall they are, and how they gonna come together. Uh, you have to think um, about your font. What what font are you using? Um, are the letters the same thickness or um, different thickness? Um, are they um, what the proportions are they? How close to each other they are? So I took um, the um, graph paper for, um, for my letters to figure out how um, I need to draw those, um, those letters. I think my letters will be pretty much the same thickness, um, at least few of them. So in Word Online, uh, letters O and gonna be the same thickness. Uh, letter L gonna be the same as well, but um, I will have the I and E a little bit more uh, thinner. And as you can see, I decided the L gonna be also thinner. Always measure when you're drawing the letters uh, so they are exact size that you want them to be. So ruler is very important in this um, project. Now I'm measuring how uh, long the whole phrase is going to be and where the center is because I want to center it on my artwork as well. And now I'm trying to copy uh, what I uh, did on the graph paper to my artwork. After I'm done putting my letters on the artwork, I'm starting coloring. Uh, my sky is going to be uh, orange and I mix the color and actually cover the letters themselves because I still can see them because my paint is a little bit watery. Um, uh, it's semi-transparent so I can still see the pencil marks even after I paint. I am using acrylic paint um, but you can also use gouache or watercolor whatever you have in your, um, in your possession. Um, I think acrylic will look very nice in, uh, for this project. And then I decided to add a little bit more details on the mountains because the mountains will have kind of snowy patches um, showed up. After I paint my mountains and the sky, I started painting uh, words with white color. I'm using white to um, make the letters to stand out, but also uh, not stand out too much. Um, I don't want to use any complementary color to my orange uh, background. Um, of course, you will be using very thin um, brush to paint um, 
letters and to achieve those crisp lines um, please point the uh, pointy tip of the um, brush um, kind of towards the uh, line that you are uh, drawing and like this and then your lines will be crisp and nice I will speed up the rest of the video uh, so you don't have to watch a uh, few hours of painting. Um, but please keep in mind that uh, you can turn your artwork around just to find the best uh, position for your hand and for your brush to paint. Um, and also I'm kind of going back and forth between the white and some uh, black color um, because sometimes I make a mistake and the white is sticking out to the background. So. I'm correcting it with the um, brush with black paint. Uh, so I'm carefully uh, painting all the letters so they look all nice and, and crisp. Here's my finished artwork and now is your turn. Good luck!